last time on Dragon Ball Z. Will I upgrade it? Dark Anubis out. Well, the question is, did I still do it? And you're god dang right I did. There we go. Town Hall 9. Now, mind you, this was just a clip, and here we are jumping forward. I think it's been five days since we jumped to Town Hall 9. Maybe five and a half, maybe six. Hard to determine. We are actually in the middle of Clan War Leagues when this video comes out. I think on day two in this video, day three is what the day we're actually out. So we'll do some of that stuff. As you can see, we have quite a bit of resources. There is a simple reasoning for that, and that's because the Gold Pass gave us a stupid amount of resources. So way over the limits of any of our stuff, but we did indeed get it again, and it's time for that round two. We are in the midst of upgrading defenses and stuff like that. As you can see, some of our heroes caught some levels. We will continue to work on them. And of course, we are currently working on those expos, which is the uh, staple for HQ9, at least defensive-wise. So, been having some fun practicing a couple different things on Town Hall 9. Of course, with the Archer Queen and with the... We dabbled with Lalo. We'll probably d jump into it more once we kind of get our Archer Queen down. But here we're showing off our raid weekend. Definitely didn't do as good as our last raid weekend. That's because we had a lot of hoppers come in and do that capital gold shenanigans that they do. But still not terrible. We are crushing it. The clan is doing a great job in pretty much all aspects. And here's, here's our builder hall where we actually finally got that battle machine up to five. I think it still has five more levels within this town hall level so we'll work on that slowly but surely luckily like i said that season chest was huge for getting resources because besides that it is very very slow to try to get stuff up in the builder hall we'll do a video on that eventually but today's video is talking about of course clan war leaks and pretty much town hall nine i suppose that's right this is our first time that our clan has been a part of it and i'm gonna be honest with you we're crushing it we are in gold two league i think uh it's kind of where they started put us there i don't know how they determine it i guess it's just the average of your clan as a whole like i said i'm not too super sure exactly what it's for but we won our first war it looks like we're going to win our second war we still have a little bit of time left on it but i think we have solidified our place so two days down victory on both days we're aiming to try to see if maybe we can get a sweep i don't know it's definitely been hard and as uh, a lot of videos have shown in the past i'm sure from a lot of other creators mismatching is exactly that there has been mismatch after mismatch for us and of course because we're a pretty casual clan that invites pretty much all levels we have quite a few lower levels including myself so prime example i'm gonna show off a couple hits some of them are good some of them a little bit rough some of them we tried but i felt like it was worth showing all the hits so that's exactly what we're gonna do and first we're starting off with mr eskimo for who all intents and purposes even though he just went up to town hall eight is technically still a town hall seven so and he had to take on basically a town hall 10 i'm sure it's not a perfect town hall 10 i think there's one or two defenses that might be a little bit low uh like that cannon i think but for the most part, this is a pretty high up Town Hall 10, so... And he gave it his best effort. Like I said, we were trying to math the math with him. Figuring out what the best way to go was. How he wanted to go about it. He decided he wanted to try some hogs with uh, an aerial attack. I think the misplay here, in my opinion, is that he probably should have had a little bit more hogs in the attack. Would it have made that much of a difference? I don't know. Maybe they could have created a slightly better funnel for those dragons. Because at the end of the day, the whole point was to try to find just enough space for maybe a dragon or two to snipe that town hall. Because that's what the important part was. But he gave it his hardest. It definitely is not easy doing a three uh, town hall deficit. And here is going to be an example of another. It went okay. It could have gone better. Mr. Treeman, as always, we like to show his hits. He does amazing work. He's a great hitter. He's a great player in general so 
I don't want this to ever be a showcase of exactly what his talents are because the truth is he's had a lot of amazing hits. It just so happens this one wasn't per perfect, but it wasn't bad either. So going in, he is a Town Hall 10 against a Town Hall 12, although it might be slightly rushed Town Hall 12, but like I said, still a two Town Hall deficit for all intents and purposes. Like I said, I know some people get butthurt about the... Uh, selection between what is actually a town hall 12 and what's a town hall 11 and all that stuff from what i can see it's got a decent amount of level advantage on him is it perfect no is it a complete devastation no absolutely not but nonetheless not terrible and of course he is able to use cc because you know and some people might hate me for this but i believe there's clans in the games go be part of a clan folks I know everyone wants to complain and say they don't have CC troops or they can't use CC troops or they want to see hits without CC troops. It's there. Why not utilize it? If you guys need a clan, come join us. We have uh, quite a few higher levels that can give you guys the stuff that you need to make it work so that you have a little bit more of an edge. So, all of that to say, Mr. Treeman tried. He missed the town hall, so unfortunately he ended up with the one star 61%. Um, I think had he got slightly better funneling, or maybe if one of his heroes would have survived there, he probably could have got that second star, but like I said, definitely not a perfect hit by Mr. Treeman, but not terrible. These hits are slightly different because the attacker is pretty much on par with the defender. Now, I put these in because Mr. Fall is a great player playing in a semi-professional league if i'm not mistaken or maybe a pro league with some restrictions or whatever the case is i think i talked about it in our last video but he loves his lalo and he wanted us to see this lalo hit so we want to give it a check give it its due rights and see how well he does and he's doing a great job thus far with the queen charge it looks like just clearing out a good portion of the space now my only thing i will say although he still makes it work for the most part is the timing that he waits to let that lalo out makes me just ever so nervous and i know he has a plan in his mind and it for the most part like I said works out but i know oftentimes you see those lalos coming out a little bit later or earlier i guess you can call it like 135 ish 140 ish he doesn't release that full on lalo till i think the one minute mark so that was a little bit sketchy but as you can see, the Queen Charge did an amazing job with clearing almost half the base. So, as long as you can get that Queen Charge to go perfectly right, you can kind of make it work. And here it goes, the Lalo is coming down. Unfortunately, that Eagle Artillery is still up, but hopefully the Hellhounds can keep it distracted just a little bit while our balloons run through. Dropping that haste so that they can get it going pretty quickly and that's exactly what they're doing clearing out all those defenses really just the only thing left i think is that single inferno tower and he just took down the wizard tower so doing a wonderful job thus far getting everything down and i think that pretty much cleared out the base and he did get the town hall as well so i didn't even see if that town hall was a upgraded town hall which definitely could have made a difference as well but nonetheless great hit on fall's part and as i'm saying that fall of course was doing another hit on his other accounts now this one i think no this is still similarly level because i think this, this is 11 and he was against an 11 so but once again coming in with some lalo action he loves this attack strat it works really well for him i think it works in most situations, but there are some situations where you got to be a little bit sketchy with Lalo. So that's why I always tell everybody and encourage them to try different attack styles. But like I said, he hasn't had a fail yet. So if it works for him, it works for him. And like I said, it always impresses me. Like I said, it requires quite a bit of skill to do this because if you mess it up, you're going to mess up your whole head. So it's definitely not as forgiving as some of the ground hits that you can do at that stage. But... Good job to Mr. Fall, Mr. Treatment, Mr. Eskimo. I'm sure there were some other mismatches that I probably should have showed. And like I said, as the league goes on, we'll probably show that off. Um, there's still a few more days left, and I'm sure there will be at least one more video that comes out before then. But 
I gotta end at least this portion of the video showing off another mismatch. That's right, Town Hall 9, newly upgraded, only about 6 days old, going into a Town Hall 11. Once again, not a fully maxed Town Hall 11, I think I see an expo that isn't maxed out. Uh, I think the Infernos are, but there are probably onesies and twosies defenses, maybe a cannon or two, a mortar, or maybe a wizard tower that aren't maxed. But this is still a Town Hall 11 for all intents and purposes against our new Town Hall 9 self. So pretty much a two deficit Town Hall. I knew I wasn't going to get the three star here, so exactly what I wanted to work for was my queen charge. Now my queen did take a huge misdirection there, but luckily the P.E.K.K.A. that uh, the healers went on and eventually died, so the healers came back to our queen, and our queen was able to charge all the way within that base. The king opened up a very large compartment, and she was able to take down both the Eagle Artillery and the Town Hall here, so a beautiful hit. We did lose most of our tanking troops. If I had to make a different play slightly, I'd probably leave that P.E.K.K.A. so that he could at least uh, tank some of that damage going into this compartment with our wit uh, witches or maybe throwing a golem or something like that because we really didn't need too much stuff we didn't even use our loons could have taken those out given ourselves a uh, second golem to throw ourselves into this other compartment but like i said i don't think there was ever a chance for us to get a three we were kind of slow on the time anyway but you know a man can wish i suppose the Queen did end up taking out the Town Hall, giving us that one star percentage. And then, of course, we have our Witches coming in here, just kind of cleaning out as much as they can. We had some freezes to freeze that Inferno Tower and the splash damage so that our Skeletons, our Witches, and of course our Healers that came in and actually did a okay job keeping the Witches alive are able to kind of just push through this base. So, And right there, we did pass that 50% threshold, getting that two stars. That's right, two stars on a Town Hall 11 as a Town Hall 9. I ain't gonna lie to you guys, I was pretty happy with myself. I've had a lot of mismatches in this. The very first day was a very bad hit for me. This today was a good hit, and I think by the time this video comes out on a third day, it's gonna be another difficult hit, so. More to follow on those. Maybe I'll record each one and I'll show you guys how to work with mismatches. But I just wanted to show off. We are in second place, but by the time this video comes out, we ended up taking back first. Hopefully we can solidify that. Like I said, the clan is killing it. I ain't gonna lie. For our first time in CWL, some of these guys have had some experience with it. I have not, and there are a lot of us guys that haven't or haven't done it in a long time. So great job on all their part, in my opinion. And an ever so slight break in the audio just had to grab something do something real quick so i do apologize for that you guys didn't miss much just kind of us doing some chores i suppose but i got back just in time for the hits because i wanted to show you guys a little bit what we're working on uh as far as troop combination wise we are enjoying the witch slap kind of the more ground-based armies like i said i know there are dragon armies um and of course the Lalo that we'll practice. I don't know. I've been having fun with the ground armies. I don't think we'll ever go to full dragons. Maybe a Lalo hit, but that's just because we like a little bit more exciting hits. So we of course have the queen here right now. And she did take out because ironically enough, it feels like nowadays people in the multiplayer battles have CCs. So I never actually pay attention to that stuff. We did take out that E-drag, saving our... Queen, luckily, so that she can continue her walk. Now, this is something we'll work on. The wall breakers that are required to kind of make the queen walk into a queen charge. From my understanding, a queen walk just allows the queen to walk around the end of the base, maybe sniping some of those slightly inner buildings, but nothing crazy. While a queen charge allows her to go directly into the middle, which to me I think is a bigger deal, especially for instance for that 
uh, Barb King and that Queen that are going to cause some issues for our troops. So, uh, just bringing, you know, three to five wall breakers so that she can start to break in and maybe take out some of that core, I think, is going to be something that we need to potentially learn, as well as where maybe Seeker Mines are. Uh, so that we can use those limbs because if we're not using them then that's 10 trip space that we're not using and we can utilize in something else whether that's wizards or whatever the case is so maybe another baby drag but this base ended up giving us slight difficulty like i said i think it's mostly because the queen didn't get in where she was supposed to and our king ate it pretty early so we also didn't use our cc here i think if we used our cc it would have been a no-brainer too easy we're trying to show off that it is possible to get these hits done even without the CC. Now, mind you, this wasn't perfect. Like I said, I think had I played it a little bit better, it bolt a little bit better, it would have been perfect. But it is what it is. We just have a few archers left. Our queen eventually ended up going down, and now we're kind of just picking off ever so slightly some last-minute defenses. Now we had an extra freeze. And we had some CC troops, so had we dropped those, we probably would have got the 100%, but no big deal. We got a majority of the loot, <laughs> probably missed some of that elixir, and not that we really need loot right at this moment. Like I said, we are full on all of our loot, so we'll definitely keep that in mind for the future. Just trying to keep my hits up to par, so to say. And then here we have another hit that we decided to do. Like I said, just kind of showing off a little bit more about the troop combinations. This one we did use, I don't know if we used baby dragons in the last one, but if we didn't, we used a baby drag here, which is to help create that funnel, uh, to help the queen kind of redirect her. So we wanted the queen to go to the right, I think she still ended up going left. So then, I totally forgot, and what we're starting to try to utilize is these jump spells. Um, because that's one way to get your queen in if you don't want to waste troop space you can technically grab a jump spell even though that it is two housing space so kind of pick your poison in a sense i suppose but either way to get her kind of in and going that's exactly what we wanted to do so maybe we did lose one healer to that air defense but she's doing great right now kind of getting in the middle she is going to take out this barb king she did take out uh or she will take out an expo and take out some of that other junk. So this is a much better hit. Looking at taking out some of those core defenses. And I think she took out the queen too. Uh, hard for me to tell. She did. So she, this is exactly what you want your queen to charge to kind of look like. Taking out an expo is huge. Taking out both heroes or at least one of them. Especially if you're using a lalo hit. Taking out that uh, defensive queen would be huge as well. And then of course you kind of just run your Barb King with maybe one tank or two tanks. And then your Witches. And they kind of just run through the base from that point on. I would say if you want to keep babying your Queen you sort of can. But at this point she's kind of just there for slightly extra damage. And if she so happens to meet up with the rest of your army that is cool too. So and I think she survives for a good majority of this hit. So very impressive on her part. We'll continue to work it out because I know it'll get harder and harder. And much more technical with making sure that our queen ends up in the right spot now as you saw there we did use cc in this hit and that is strictly because we needed to get our super archer for that uh event we had to use super archers and any events that require super troops you can technically use the cc troops which is fantastic so i highly suggest doing that in the future if you haven't up to this point and that allows us to get a research potion, which is, of course, huge, taking off almost a day of uh, research time for troops. But either way, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. We will definitely be back probably before the end of CWL. Like I said, I'm having a whole lot of fun, and I know I will continue to have some fun as we learn some more uh, strats. And hopefully sometime not super, super late, we will get into Town Hall 10. But as always, I am the resident dweller of the underworld, the casual player's player. The David to Max Player's Goliath, Dark Anubis, and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.